Okay, so continuing where we left off, uh, so we set direction equals to uh, last directions equal to previous directions equal to last direction, and then what we're gonna do is we uh, we get a direction whatever whatnot, and if the direction if the new direction if we if we input a different direction that that's um that than what we did last update. Uh, therefore, we're going to set e index into the to the new direction. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is that um what what we're going to do is that we're going to say that if active is true, then we're going to set index um plus plus. Uh, the problem with this is that we're saying that. The problem with this is that we're, we're saying that if direction is not equal to previous direction, then index is going to be equal to direction, and immediately we're going to be setting direction plus equals one. So if you would like, then you could you could put this before here. So. So index plus plus. So if index uh, and else if it's false, uh, then the the thing is that with with our images, if you look at our images, our sprites, um, it is in the uh it, wherever the, the the first image is like a walking animation, but the second image in which in each direction is a standing animation. Uh, so for else, what we would want to do is that we would say uh, index is equals to direction uh, plus one. So that would give us the uh, the standing animation that we want. And uh, again, not every single image will be set like this, but I'm just trying to get you guys to like uh, think, kind of like think outside. Uh, the box to solve certain situations okay so we say that if x is equal to true then we're going to increase index and else we're going to just set it to the standing animation so what we also have to check for is uh if the index like we we have to make sure that the index doesn't uh really exceed uh, it doesn't exceed the interval, right? So we don't want to be doing like the down animation and it ends up showing us the left animation or so on and so forth. So th there, there is many, there are many ways that you can handle it. Uh, you could have an, another integer variable called counter and add it and say if counter is, e uh, is equal to three or greater than or equal to three, then um, you reset index. Uh, but what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna say if if index is greater than or equal to uh, the current direction uh, current direction plus three, right? Then we're just gonna set the index back to the direction. Okay, so that way then it it won't exceed uh, it won't exceed uh, the type of images we're trying to draw. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to test this out. So, we're going to say L draw bitmap. And we're going to do player walk. And we're going to put index. And for the X and Y, we're going to keep the X and Y there. And for flags, we're just going to put that as null. So let's run this to see what we get. Hopefully everything is running smoothly. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we've run into an error. So let me check out what it is and get back to you. Okay, I figured out the problem. Uh, it was a, a mistake, uh, but I forgot to put in the file extension that we're actually loading in. So uh, do the two left stream operators and put in the file extension. Uh, one thing you notice about pixlace.com is that it changed it to a JPEG image. Uh, so um, once I show you the results of it right now, it's going to show the white background, uh, but 
uh, yeah, you can change it to a P, uh, PNG and make it transparent if you want. Uh, in the next tutorial, I will be teaching you how to be changing like JPEGs and stuff like that uh, to have them to have certain transparent areas, uh, so you can work with different file types. But uh, once uh, the problem was that we weren't loading in the uh, loading in anything, we didn't have the file extension. So if we run this program right. So if we run this program right now, sorry, uh, we should get our image in a standing position, and when we move, it moves accordingly. Now, as with the last set of tutorials, uh, the animation, the walk animation moves uh, really fast. So if you want to slow it down, it'll be best to make another timer that will actually time to see when you should update uh, the image or the index, etc., etc. So anyways, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this uh, two-part series on how to do individual spray animation and practice hard, and I hope you look forward to the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and bye.